Here is the top command. It's one of my favorite commands. I love it. I'm going to show it to you. You're going to like it too, but it's a little bit odd when you first see it. So I'm going to explain it so you go, that's very clear. And then I'm going to show you what its real purpose is. And it is a brilliant command. Now, let's take a look at the query first. And it says, select top three, last name, comma, grade point, comma, class code from student table. I want you to take the top three out of the query in your mind and you go, oh, this is like a normal query. Select last name, comma, class code, comma, grade point. I'm going to have three columns on my report. So you write your SQL exactly like you normally do, except just in front of the very first column or right after the selects, probably a better way of saying that. You put want the top space three and it goes, I'll give you three rows. And that's what the top command's going to do. It's going to say, I'll just give you a random three rows in this case. This is the brilliance of the top command. Let's just get right to it. You put an order by in the query. We just saw this query. Select top three, last name, class code, grade point from student table. But when we say order by grade point descending, what we're really saying now is I want to see the top three students with the best grade points. And that's the real genius behind the top command. Top goes with order by like bread goes with butter. When I use the top command, I love to use an order by because it orders the data first and then gives me the top number of rows I've asked for. Let's take a look at this query and this answer set. Here I say I would like to select the top two with ties. Notice that it's ordered by class code down here. So we've got four rows that have come back. Do you know why? We ordered by class code. So once the order by class code came back, the null value came back first. And we want the top two with ties. So secondly, they said it's a freshman that comes back, Michael Larkins. And they go, there's my top two, but it's with ties. And they go, you know what? We did have more freshmen. There were two more freshmen here. So the null comes back first, and then all of the freshmen who tied come back. And that's what with ties is all about. Select asterisk from student table would bring back all the columns in the student table. Here, we're saying select top three asterisk from student table. We're going to get a random three rows because we did not have an order by statement. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.